It's the second time within less than a week, crowds storming the parliament building in Iraq, located in the heavily secured green zone in the capital, Baghdad. A government has not been formed in Iraq since the last elections 10 months ago, leaving the country in a political deadlock. Saturday's protesters followed the call of Muqtada Sadr, a very influential Shia cleric and politician. His supporters stormed parliament to protest alleged corruption as it was about to elect Sadr's rival Muhammad Shia Sudani as prime minister. I call on the Iraqi people who have a history of protests to go out if they want to be similar to the other Arab protests. Go out and see if Muqtada al-Sadr forced on you a prime minister. Then you can say that Muqtada al-Sadr wanted this. Muqtada al-Sadr wants all people to go out so that they can lead themselves. Muqtada al-Sadr's affiliates are deeply involved in Iraqi politics, sitting in ministries and governing bodies. His party came first in a general election in October last year, but Assadr withdrew his lawmakers from parliament when he failed to form a government which excluded his opponents, mostly Shia groups backed by Iran. Nationalist Sadr says he wants to battle corruption and foreign influence in Iraq. He is stirring up his supporters to halt the parliament from installing a prime minister and president who would be close to Iran. Meanwhile, current caretaker Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadimi is appealing for calm. The political blocs must sit down and negotiate and understand for the sake of Iraq and the Iraqi people, and the language of treason and exclusion must be avoided. The protesters... Inside the parliament, protesters were in a celebratory mood. The standoff is hitting ordinary Iraqis hard. The oil-rich country is suffering as budgets cannot be passed without a functioning government. Power cuts occur regularly, and especially for youth, it's becoming harder and harder to build a future.